They keep going. It's okay to take a little break, but keep going. And I look at uh, one of my idols, Leslie Jones. I don't want to talk about that. Thank you for your email, whoever you were. Whatever. Hey, shout out to the Scorpion from the Scorpion Show. Hey, Scorp. Um, listen to me. Listen to me, honey. Did did you, Bimmies, did you all see me last week rushing the show? I don't even look at myself. How am I looking this week, honey? Fabulous. Fabulous. Listen, you don't need nobody approval on your look. If you look in the mirror and you say you look good, that is all that matters. That is all that matters. If you look in the mirror and you say, I like it, don't you ask nobody how you look. You ask yourself. I don't give a damn about nobody opinions, bitch. If I look in the mirror and I like it, mm, what? Listen to me. Did you all see me rushing last week? Like, I was really rushing to end the show. You know, it was 8 o'clock. It was last Thursday. And I'm like, you know, uh, I got to watch the Akeisha Cole and the Ashanti Verses. And I put the live on. And I see the music was playing. And I was like, you know what, Bimmy's? I got to go. And you know, I thought I was late because it was like 8.10. I'm like, you know, I'm thinking Keisha Cole and Ashanti about to come out. And I want to miss one second. Like, I can't... Like, even with movies, I need to see... I need to see everything. I need to see the coming attractions. I need to see everything. I don't like to miss nothing. So, you know, I was rushing, rushing. And these old two tired whores want to come three hours late. I said, I be damn. I was sitting there rushing because I had me on some peak. No, I had what I had. Oh, I had me some chicken strips and some spaghettis last week. And I told you all I had the three uh, chicken strips with the lettuce. How am I looking on camera, y'all? Ew. Mm, 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 mm. I'm Tyra Banks ready, honey. <laughs> Listen to me. So these old two tired whores want to come three hours late. Ashanti was a little early. I mean, she was late. They was both was late. But Keisha Cole want to come scrolling in. And is she going to come? Look. She going to come in with a little attitude. Listen here, Miss Thang. We just sat here waited five hours for you. want to come in here with this little attitude? You better... Look, we're going to talk about the verses. We're going to talk about the verses. I don't have much to say, but I want to talk about it. Also, I have a slight idea. Yeah, I have a little slight, just a little slight idea of who's going to compete in the next verses. Yeah, you know, I'm going to let you all know who, who them two peoples or groups may be. So watch the show. Also, I want to talk about that Salt and Pepper movie. What the hell was that? In my African voice, Sister Patterson, Bimmies, what the hell was that? Three hours of what the hell? Shout out to all my African men, honey. You know I love me some African men. I don't know. I'm starting to love me some African men. I don't know what it is. I, I, I'm starting to love me some African men, baby. I, I, I can take their accents. Like, I love me. Shout out to all the Africans watching me. Just know I love you. The Bimbo love you. And and my name, Bimbo, is like Africa come from Africa, too. Every time I meet somebody, they say your name, Bimbo. You are not African. I say I'm African. I want some African in me. Do, are you are you hung like elephant? I need to see you. Get up in me. Yes, you baby. I'll shout to all the Africans. But anyway, Saw and Pepper, what the hell was that movie? We gonna talk about you old tired hoes and you all even um. Uh, uh, Spinderella, uh, Spinderella out the movie. I mean, she wasn't left out the movie. Spinderella, we saw you, girl. You talking about, oh, they left me out the movie. Girl, we saw you in the movie, honey. Look, we're going to talk about that. Also, you guys, listen, listen. Pull up, pull up. Did you all hear about this, um, uh, this, this guy who released the video from Harlem? His name is Jimmy Smacks. Yes, he released the video with a transgender Doing a do. What's the do? Do, 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 do. Real good. Push it, push it. Do, do. Real good. Push it, push it, baby. Hello. Come on. I'm trying to talk now. So, you know, crazy. Him, Jimmy Smacks. 
transgender. Well, technically, it wasn't that way. It was the the the, the trans with the top, the top, honey. She was getting some top from this Jimmy Smacks. Um, look, a lot of you all have something to to say. You know how the uh the blacks are when he when he's you know when when it's someone comes out the closet or something. You know, so I want to talk about that. The Keisha Cole, the Salt and Pepper. Also, I got. I want to talk about this preacher. Yes, there's a preacher. I want to talk about you all. Him and his wife had these little boys doing some things. I told you, you all them preachers be up to no good. Shout out to all you preachers out there. And you all wonder why I don't go to the church, baby. You all can say what you want about me. I'm real, honey. I keep it real. Look, I want to talk about that and much, much more. You are now watching the Bimbo Show. What the hell was that? I heard about you. I was waiting for you at the door, boy. Baby, this guy on my job, he was African. Baby, he was flirting hard with me. Like, I had gotten in the elevator and I was going up, but I didn't tell him I was going up. So when he got in the elevator, I told him I was going to the uh, 12th floor. And I said, no, when he got in the elevator, he said, can you press two? I said, oh, you're going down. I'm going up to the 12th floor. He was like, hold on, I don't like my lips to be so, he was like, alright, I'll ride with you up to the 12th floor. So, you all know me, I don't like to look at men, straight or gay, I don't want, I don't want you, I don't want you thinking I don't want you, because the rest of you gay men, you make it bad for the regular gays like me who don't pay these people no mind and now you got all these straight men thinking everybody want them nobody wants you honey so i don't pay them no mind so i don't look at nobody eyes i don't and I, I can't stand these people out here in ohio so i don't pay them no mind period so i'm in the elevator with him going up to the 12th floor and i just feel him staring at me like he's just like i'm like ew. so he's like what time you get off Right then and there, I already know. And you know I'm shy. I'm a people don't believe me. Like I'm a very shy person. Like I'm bold. You know I don't care what people think about me. I go outside and do what I want, dress how I want, act how I want. But I'm really a shy person. So I heard him, and I'm like, I get off at eleven, and he's just like, I felt like he just wanted to grab me in that elevator and just do some things, honey. So when I got to the twelfth floor. I was like, see you later. And I guess he wanted more from me. Like, I, I, you know, hey, you know. And I seen him. This is not the other dude I was telling you about. That other dude I told you about last week's show. This is a whole other guy. This is, like, really my first time seeing him. He's a little older. He's African. He's not really that bad looking. He has a little slight gut. But, you know, as you get older, stuff like that don't bother you no more. That's all them little young, dumb gays. I'm like, I need a six-pack. I need this out of typical little retards. So, I had just got off the elevator and I walked away. And, um, I seen him again. And, like, all he does is just stare, like, baby, you better get me now. You got a couple of days left with me. So, you know, I'm not going to say nothing. But I just felt like if he wanted, he better come get it because I'm not saying nothing. That's it. There's nothing more to the story. It was just... Shout out to all my Africans. Just know the bimbo love you. Anyway, you guys, welcome to the uh, show. Welcome to the Bimbo Winehouse Addiction Show. I am the host, Bimbo Winehouse. With my co-host, the legendary Sister Patterson. 
Um, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, can you please take your fat fingers and hit the thumbs up? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. Take your, take your fingers and hit the thumbs up on this show. Thank you. Is it the summertime yet? It's so crazy when it's summertime. I beg for the winter. And then when it's winter time, I beg for the summer. Like, I just can't take neither of it. Like, I just need 50 to 80 degrees. I can do like 50 at night and 80 in the morning. And then like in between throughout the day. I, I can't do like why does it get so freaking cold god like I'm over this cold and I'm not going to Florida them, you, them people out there they they I can't do Florida I can't do Florida nope alright you guys we got some things to talk about so it's time for the topics that are hard topics that What is that stupid dance? Uh, it's like a challenge. Like, I so hate uh, the challenges. Mm, stupidest things. Challenge. But it's a challenge for all these people. They're like, they're like playing this one stupid song. And then they're like in one spot. They're doing some stupid dance. And then they go to another spot. They're doing another stupid, the same stupid dance. And then they shower. Doing the same stupid dance. And then they're in a supermarket doing the same stupid dance. Like, what, like, you, like what is going on here? Well, like, like, I liked the Let Me See You Walk challenge. It just goes to show a lot of you all can't walk. I don't know what Trina was doing. Trina, you cannot walk. I seen a couple of, I seen big girls walking better than you, Trina. I like, what is going on with these challenges? I can't do no challenge. And then they got some challenge for the gays. Somebody go inbox me, Bimbo, can you do this challenge? No, I'm not doing nobody challenge. And just because I'm gay, don't inbox me no gay challenge. I don't follow what the rest of them gay boys do. I don't do that. I don't I have no gay friends. Leave me alone. No, I like my older mature ladies, 35 and plus. That's what I like to hang around. Let's go to a lounge and have a drink or two. And, you know, you know, and, and be in a house by 11, 12. That's what I like. All them little challenge. I don't do it. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm good. Anyway, you all, listen to me. We got some things to talk about. No, but seriously, what is that stupid dance? Or the, the people, like, I seen somebody doing it. Lance, Lance Gross. I don't know what he was doing on the shade room. I said, what is this queen doing? He, then he's in a, uh, in a, in a, in a, uh, in a tub. Then he's, in, then he's in front of his car. I'm like, what? You folks ain't got nothing better else to do. I mean, I guess not. But, I, listen to me. I got a little tiny piece of chicken downstairs. And I think I'm going to make a baked potato with some broccoli. That sounds good, right? Some black pepper. Some butter. And a little piece of uh, meat. Like I have like a, like a literally like a little piece of meat. But that baked potato with the broccoli... All right, I got to get through this show, y'all. So, I was thinking about 
stories in my life from the past do you just sometimes sit sit around and think about stuff from your past and past stories and you just start laughing you're like yo what the hell was that so let me tell you all let me tell you all this little quick story so there was this club in new york city this gay club called escalitas Escalita, shout out to all my gays who know about Escalita in New York City. The club is shut down, it's closed, it's been closed for like years now. Anyway, this was like the club to go to on Thursdays, it was like hip hop night because it was overall, it was like a Spanish club. And um, so I used to go to this club with my peoples back then. And then I went one night, and this is when I started dressing in drag. And I started hanging out by myself because. My old friend Scotty, uh, Scotty Gay Blige. I remember him. That's where I, I. That's why I think we had like we started falling out when we like our relationship started to you know like fall apart. Is when I started dressing in drag, and I was like, if you can't accept me as this and dressing in drag, you ain't my friend. And, like you should be able to accept your friend for who and when and however they are. So when I started feeling some way about when when I felt he started feeling some way about me dressing in drag, I was like. This friendship is done. I don't care how many years. Once I, that's why I ain't got no friends. Once I start feeling the way that you got me feeling the way about you, I'm done with you. Goodbye. I'll be my own best friend. So that's why I just started cutting everybody off and said, you know what? I can do this by myself. So anyway, I started dressing in drag. And after I left the club, it was a White Castles down in the city next to the Escalitas. So that was like the thing. I the gays went to the McDonald's, went to the White Castles. You went somewhere to get something to eat. So that particular night, that night, I went to the White Castles. So you know I'm in drag walking, you know, and I, know, and I went to White Castles. You know, got me my old, old nasty full burgers. I don't like cheese. I just want the, you know, the White Castle burgers with some onion rings. You know, I sat, ate, minded my business, and then after I was finished eating, you know, you walk around the area that's when they had I don't know if New York still has it you know the bookstores aka the stores honey where it goes down this was back in the day you know you put a 25 cents in the machine or a dollar in the machine in the booths and you could see some things and then you have the gay ones where the side of the windows oh man I missed them days so anyway I went to the bookstore around the corner aka the dollar machine, the dollar machine store. You put your dollar machine in. You see some things. Usually it's guys in there. Usually it's not you no know, guys. Whatever, hit or miss most of the time. So that particular that particular night, I went in. It was like non booths. Nobody was there. It was just me alone and dragging the booth. So I said, oh, "What the hell? Let me just put a dollar, two dollars in, and you know, watch a little flick real quick. You know, push it." You know, one of them flicks, bookstores, you know, porn. So I put the dollar in the machine, and as I'm watching, the oh, yeah, daddy, I started getting the bubble guts. Because you know I just had the White Castles, and you know what the White Castles do to you, and the Taco Bells, you know what all that do to you. Speaking of uh, Mexican food, I had me a burrito last night. Baby, when I tell you that burrito was so good. But that burrito did the same thing that the White Castles did to me this particular night. So back to the night. So I'm in a um, I'm in a booth, and I'm like, ooh, what, ooh, what's going on? Because I already had liquor in me. My stomach was just all over the place, and it wasn't one of those I can wait till I get home. Oh no, the White Castle wanted to come out now. So I could, you know, went up to the booth and to the uh. You know, the register and ask the guys up there, hey, do you have a bathroom or whatever? Most of the time they would have said no. So, baby, I had to go. Baby, I had to go. So, I put a, I, I slightly took out another dollar and I put her in a machine. I put my little shorts down because you all you know, you all know I, like, I, I dress, you know how I dress. So, I had the little short shorts on. Pull slightly, put my pants down. I let it out right in that booth, and it, it, I'm sorry to you all who like to eat me, who like ooh, eat me, and who like to watch and eat me. I mean, who like to watch and eat? 
I'm sorry. I had to let it out right then and all all that came out right in that booth and it was a lot. And I was like, please don't smell, cause I ain't want the smell to get out. So I was done. It took me like a minute or two, uh, you know, a wipe, air, air, threw right on the floor. Oh wow, they got pickup service. Oh wow. And I calmly walked out that booth. And I said bye to the guy. I said bye, y'all, to the guys at the register. They said bye, baby. And I kindly walked out and I went home. And then, you know, I did that aftermath because it's more, you know, when you get home. So that was that night. So. <laughs> so a couple of weeks later, maybe, I don't know, a couple of weeks later, um, I'm in the city again. And I'm at Escalita's and drag alone by myself because the queens always got something to say. But the, the queens in drag, whatever. I don't like y'all anyway. I don't like men. Okay, whatever. So, um, I was in drag again a couple of weeks later and I left the club. And as I left the club, I seen a dude. He approached me and we started talking, you know, a little while, whatever. And he's like, you know, where we going to go? And I said, hey, I follow your lead. You know, I walk behind you. You know how, shout out to all the drags and trans. You know how that goes in the city. You know, walk behind the boys. They don't want to be seen in public. You know, they insecure about their self. But that kind of turned me on back then. You know, and now, I'm a whole new person now. So, he led me to that store where that situation happened with me in the White Castles. But I forgot about the whole, it was weeks ago, I, it was just out my mind. I wasn't even thinking, you know. So, as he walks into the store, <laughs> and I walk behind him, we both walk in. You know, we was going to go to the booths. You know, he's going to put his thing through the thing, and I was going to put my eyes, and we was going to do what we are going to do. So, as we walk into the store, the guy at the register greets us. Not greet, you know, hey, whatever, hi, whatever. And then <laughs> the guy behind the counter, he look, he looking at me. I'm thinking, I'm looking at him. I'm like, hey, baby. He said, you, not African. I think he was like, I don't know. He was Indian. I don't know. He said, you. I said, well, me what, baby? He said, you shit, shit. You, you, you nasty, nasty. I said, what are you talking about? He said, you get out my store. You shit, you shit on the floor. I said, sir, what are you talking about? He was like, look, you come to camera. I should, like he had it already. I said, I'm not coming behind you. He said, get out first. He said, get out my store before I call the police. You nasty, you shit, shit, shit. I said, no, I shit, shit, shit. What are you talking about? And I started thinking like, oh my God, this is the store that I did, you know, the White Castle situations. So he's like, Get out my store before I call the cops. Before I call the cops. And the guy I'm with, he's like, Shorty, you all right? What's going on? I'm like, I don't know what he's talking about. He got me confused. And in the back of my head, I'm like, oh my God. This is lovely. <laughs> so I said, you know, but here's other stores we need to go in. He said, she nasty, she nasty. And then we <laughs> walked out the store. <laughs> oh, man. It, it was just a random story. I had and I was just thinking about that. Um, <laughs> oh man, it, 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 it's hilarious because I really didn't know, had no clue what he was talking about and didn't hit me. Oh shoot, I came in here and <laughs> shit. Like when I tell you, I left a load in there. I'm saying, hey, I'm sorry. Baby, they did not let me back in that store for a couple. I finally got back in a couple of months, months later, but I, oh, hilarious. So me and him to do, we found another little spot. But he, I was like, I don't know what they did. I, I have a twin. I said, I do have a twin lion. You know, they stupid. They don't know no better. So that was your little story for you all. I know a lot of you all, you inbox me and you DM me and say, you know, we miss your stories, Bimbo. You know, the, the show is a little different from the way it used to be back in like 2016. If you go look at my 2015 and 16 and 17 videos, it's a little different now. But anybody with a brain, you can see why my show is a little different. 
Okay, so if you go look at my old videos, you see the difference between then and now. Hey, look, it is what it is. Okay, hey, you know, I mean, it's still entertaining, but you know, but what I'm trying to do is I'm because I, 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 I do miss telling you all some of the stories, but to be quite honest with you all. I have not been doing that now. I told you I've have I'm, I, I these dudes just don't turn me on out here in Columbus, Ohio. So I really don't have no stories for you all besides the ones that's been happening on my job because I don't socialize with these people. I don't go out between just going to work, going to the barber shop, and coming home and doing my laundry. That's been about it. So I really don't have no. I mean, I have a few stories. Because this weekend, I do plan to hang out. I want to enjoy my little couple of last days here, you know. So, I am going to go out this weekend. But, there's really no stories. But, I'm going to start up a, a different account on the Patreon. Is that what that, they call it? The Patreon account? Because there's quite a few stories I want to tell you all, you know. Um... I want to tell you about my experience here. Like, I just want to sit down and in front of the camera and just talk for at least 40 to 50 minutes about my experience here. Like, I want to tell you all the, the, the real, the craziness. And I'm not doing that on YouTube. Like, I just want to just have me a drink and just talk like I'm talking to a friend. So, uh, I'm going to put that up in like next week or two. And I'm going to... Uh, start my patreon account i'm gonna open up a patreon and i'm just gonna i want to just do some things on my but like i just don't want to just sit here i want to show you guys different parts of my life so i'm not doing that on youtube i'm going to open up a bimbo winehouse patreon account and you all can you all i'm going to give you a little insight a little, little different side when it's time for me to meet up with dudes i want to have the camera recording as i'm getting a drag I just want to show, and then also, my OnlyFans. Someone had been inboxing me about the OnlyFans. What's going on with that? I just had to change some things up. Like, I'm not a porn star. Like, first of all, I don't even like the light on when I'm, you know, doing that. I like the light out. You know, it, it makes it more a little more, oh, uh, unless the guy turns the light on, then whatever. But I like the lights out, so. I'm going to do something else on my OnlyFans, a little different. Um, I should have that up by the end of the week. I'll keep you all. Go on my Instagram, go on my Twitter. I'll keep you all updated on all that stuff. It's all coming soon. Just give me a second. Like a more couple of, like a few more days. It's all going to be up. Um, but yeah, I have a quite a few more stories I want to share with you all, but I'm not doing it on here on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to have my Patreon account coming real soon in the next week or two. The first video I want to, I really want to get out is my experience here in Ohio. I have a lot to say and a lot. I haven't told you all a lot. I have a, a few stories I want to tell you all. With, with a gun being pointed to my head. Like it was a lot. It was so much that happened in this past two years. Um, where I was at when I found out my best friend Dana passed away when I found out my friend Chinchilla there's so much I want to share with you guys so that's going to go on the Patreon but anyway back to the mess here honey do New York still have them type of stores like even with the uh, virus going around can you still like go into one of them stores I miss them baby them, them, you, baby they used to go down you all remember when I gave you the tea that the video came down now on Jennifer Lopez, uh, Boo Casper, and they said he went up in one of them stores talking about he was going up for an ATM. And I gave you all the real honey. That was a couple of years ago. All right, moving on to this Keisha Cole and this Ashanti versus. You all don't know how upset I was. I was really rushing. I was really rushing to eat my food because when you eat, you smack. And I didn't want to, I, like, I really didn't want to miss nothing. So I was like, really like waiting for them. 
And I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm like, it's now 8.30. All right, let me just hurry up and eat. It's now 8.45. Okay, that's like the legit time that the verses start. They tell us 8 o'clock is 45 minutes in. It is now 9.15. Where are these old tired holes at? It's now 9.30. Ashanti is now on. Looking, Ashanti looked very pretty. I'll give her that. Trying to entertain us. Girl is not an entertainer. She ain't know what to say. Baby, I would have had that live rocking. We got to wait for a whole Keisha Cole. Oh, baby, this is my... Oh, I would have been promoting, honey. I would, let me tell you something. Like, I would have had that live rocking. But Ashanti is not an entertainer. She, you know, she was just there. So, finally, by 10 o'clock, this old tired hole want to pull up. She going to come with an attitude. Oh, hey, y'all. Y'all was waiting for me. Come to find out, she was there the whole time. I get it. When I first looked at the verses, because I watched it on my phone. Um, shout out to everyone who watches it on their TV screens. When you watch it on your TV screens, it's a little better because they're like side to side. But for us who ain't got all that crap, we just got to go to Instagram versus Ashanti was on top, Keisha was on bottom. And it's so crazy how they had the comments on Keisha Cole. So I would have been a little upset. And why are we seeing the same old six people comment? Like, can you just turn these comments off? First of all, these people ain't even saying that. If they, you got to have a blue check mark. I guess if you have a blue check mark on Instagram, you matter. When the regular folks are saying funny and better things. But that's another story. So I kind of felt where Keisha Cole was coming from. But not two hours later, girl. I don't watch my Law and Order. S that was I was watching my Law and Order S V U. I went through that whole show. I'm like, where is these tired hoes? So she, Keisha Cole came on with a slighter attitude. She didn't even uh, greet Ashanti. All right, listen. First, what I want to say about Ashanti. Ashanti looked real good. I loved. She had a cute outfit on. You know, she didn't even look like she'd been through the whole virus situation. She looked real cute. Ashanti was also uh, prepared. It looked as if she took some time out to figure out the songs and, you know, the outfits and the hair. Everything on Ashanti part, in my opinion. Mind you, we were all rooting. Well, most of us was rooting for Keisha Cole. And and I, I'll get to Keisha in a second. I, Ashanti. Oh, that's what I wanted to have. She came in prepared. She was ready. I, I loved her look. But I will say this. Uh, what were some of the songs she was playing? Bimmies, what were some of the songs she was playing? Ashanti played about four songs. And I'm like, girl, was these unreleased songs that ain't nobody never heard? And since you're here, you want to play these songs? It was about four songs I heard from Ashanti. And I'm just like... Where the hell these songs come from? I was a little confused about some of the songs she was playing. But overall, I loved Ashanti whole situation going on. <laughs> but there was one part. <laughs> there was one part of the verses. When Han Keisha Cole was going at it. And I'm sorry you all. Ashanti straight sounding like. One of them kids. Who rode the yellow school bus. The small you know. I'm not making jokes on nobody. But you know. you One of them. Hey, my, I'm a little iron too. Um, it's when. <laughs> it's when they was talking about the Ciroc. Which I'm going to start drinking. Is Ciroc liquor good? Because I'm sick of Absolute. I, I can't do Absolute no more. I, 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 like, I want to change up my liquor. Every couple of years I like to change up. So Ciroc might be my thing. Or I might go to Grey Goose. What's better? Grey Goose or the Ciroc? And, and let me know. But it's when Ashan, uh, Keisha Cole said. Ciroc didn't give me no check. And here come Ashanti. Sound a little yellow, small yellow. They gave me one though. Hold on. Let me. <laughs> Wait. Do you all know what I'm talking about? This is when they was talking about the checks. Yo, Ashanti sounded so like one of them yellow school bus. Oh, don't tell me I got the video ready. 
Come on, Bimbo. You're supposed to have this stuff ready, man. Give me one second, guys. I'm sorry. Damn. What is... Uh, is this it right here? You mean to tell me you're not ready yet? All right, here we go. I'm so upset. I'm supposed to have this stuff ready, man. Oh, here we go, here we go. Listen, listen. Look, 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 look. Uh, hold on. Look how slow Ashanti sounds. Like one of them, you know, listen. They gave me my dough. All right, hold on. Oh. oh, come on. Right. What's going on here? Brown, right. And she's like, I ain't getting no Ciroc check. Like, what? <laughs> That's what I want to give you a shout out. Ciroc. 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 They gave me one though. Listen one more time. Hold on. I really can't do it. Don't play access to that white though. Don't play access to that white though. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just thought that was hilarious. They gave me one though. Alright. That was my only funny part with Ashanti. Now Keisha Cole, Miss Thang, coming 20 hours late. And then you had that outfit on. I think she was going to come done. I did not like that Keisha Cole outfit. It was something about her upper body that just didn't, it didn't look right. I don't know if she working out too much. It just didn't look right. It was giving me much I'm a man. The whole upper body that she had. But don't get me wrong. I was hoping her, uh, I was hoping her baby, you know, her uh, breast pop out. I was like, oh, any, any given moment, them days are going to pop out. I guess she knew a lot of men were watching, and you know she needs always needs a man. So I guess she was trying to, you know, hopefully, you know, you know, you know what you ladies do, show that. But I, the outfit just didn't like Ashanti outfit looked so much classier. Not that I'm about the class, but it just looked so much. Keisha Cole outfit was just ew. All right, and then that attitude. A lot of you all had an issue with her attitude. I didn't really have an issue. It was just the fact that you were two hours late and you want to come in with an attitude. You could have came in and said, hey, you all, I'm sorry. You know, I just didn't like my lightning. I didn't like, okay, let's get this. You, oh, who going first? I'm going first. Play the song. You didn't even greet Ashanti. But that's Keisha Cole and her attitude. And then why did you play the love song so early? Wasn't that like your biggest hit? Don't the artists usually wait to like the final round to play their biggest hit? I'm like, you playing love so early, and then you bring this guy OT Genesis in. I it was just all wrong, and I saw what her sister say, Elite girl. Ain't nobody think about you. Get nobody care about you. Um, but I really didn't really care for OT Genesis. Like this is your biggest hit. This was supposed to be like your top song, and you let this guy come in. And mess it up. I, I was just over that whole little segment with the OT Genesis. We don't want to see you. And then the song she played. It was like a couple of songs that Keisha Cole had that I loved. And I'm just like, she's going to play this. Like the Fallen song off her second album. Uh-uh. 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 Go listen to the song after the show is over. I'm like, why didn't she play that? I, I, I don't know. Um, What did you all think about the verses? Overall, I'll be honest, and I was a little like a little drunk, but I was also a little bored. I was just a tad bit bored with it, and I'm thinking it's because we were so used to seeing the verses in the same room. Brandy was in the same room with Monica. Uh, 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 DMX was in the same room with Snoop, and we were used to that. So I think I got kind of bored because they were in separate you know, rooms, it, I, I, was, I was just a, I, I guess the hype died down, maybe that was the factor, like, you know, you hyped this up, and then we waited three times, and then on the third time, you want to come two hours late, I think I was just, it just kind of broke down the mode, uh, the mood, um, overall, I thought it was a tie, I was hyped for 
as many Keisha songs as Ashanti. And Ashanti was playing some joints that I forgot about. I was like, damn, I was, you know, I was a supporter of Ashanti back then. I, it was a couple of songs she were playing that brought back some memories. So, as I said, it was a tie. And I needed something to make the tiebreaker. And um, the tiebreaker for me was their new singles. I was like, whoever new single sounds better is going to be the winner. Keisha Cole played her new single, I Don't Wanna Be. And then Ashanti played her new single, 235 or 234 or 222 or whatever song it's called. Something about twos. And I said, whoever song sounds better is who's going to be the legit winner. And because of their two singles, the winner for me was Ashanti. I was rooting for Keisha Cole. And most of us was rooting for Keisha. But she just... She she just... And then she come with this old whack single, I Don't Want to Be. That's... that, that, that Scrape that single. I, I, I... You know, I was a supporter of Keisha Cole. And her first single was usually hit for me. That was... I, no, that don't need to be your... But that Ashanti song, 235, was, was nice. So... Ashanti, in my opinion, she won the verses for what it was. All right. Enough of that. Who did you all think won the verses? I'm over it. Hopefully, the, oh, by the way, I'm hearing through the grapevine, the next verses is going to be something I've been saying I want. No, not Foxy Brown, Little Kim, but my two girls, SWV versus Escape. Word through the grapevine. Who are you all going for? Me. My girls. Hello, SWV. I love my Lily. Shout out to Lily. Shout out to Taj. And shout out to Coco. But I'm going for my SWV. Who you all going for? SWV or Xscape? Now, speaking of female groups, let's uh, go on to this. I'm missing notes. I could just want to have more notes. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Alright. Where are my notes at? Okay. The Salt and Pepper movie. Look, I really don't have too much to say about the Salt and Pepper movie. Uh, DJ Spinderella. <laughs> she says she was wrongfully excluded from the Salt and Pepper biopic biopic however you will pronounce it baby let me tell you something be happy you was excluded where are my notes no 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 i need my notes for that i know i needed my notes for something give me a second you guys oh man one second sister patterson talk to them the hoes talk to sister patterson you all say hey girl oh. you all i'm trying to find my notes all right i have them i have them i have them Ew, I'm back. Ew, I'm back. How you like that, daddy? You like me on the ground. Ew. Listen to me. Be happy you was excluded from that old tired movie, honey. And I'm not quick to say a movie is whack. But you all had three hours. You had three hours on Lifetime. And that's the best you all could do. That's the best you all can do. Like I'm not like I said, I'm not quick to say a movie is whack. But that movie. And you all can say it's Lifetime. But Lifetime also gave us that movie with the um the them church hoes. Oh, excuse me. Them church ladies. The sisters. The sisters. What's the, what's the movie called? The Clark Sisters. That was a good movie. So, you can't blame it on a lifetime. Um, the movie just wasn't good, you guys. I, I just felt like they wasn't telling us all. I, I, I didn't get nothing from the movie. And then did you all see how they made Martin look? Well, I, I, I'll say this. I'm more of a Little Kim, Foxy Brown, Eve 
Like, I was born when, when Salt and Pepper came out, like, 1985, 96. I was born. That's the year I was born. So, I really didn't really grow up to... I you know I know the push shit. I know the, uh, what a man, what a man, shoot. I was, like, 10, 11. But their story, story, I didn't know too much about it. So, I wanted to... I really didn't get nothing from the story. Uh, Pepper was from, uh, Kingston, Jamaica. That explains why she's so wild. Um, and then Salt tried to act like she this old church preachy lady. Girl, bye. Um... The movie just wasn't that good. So, Sprinterella, girl, don't be upset. Be happy you wasn't. And it's not like they didn't show you. They showed you. She making a scene like, oh my god, I'm not in the movie. Girl, you was in, you was in most of the movie. Salt and Pepper felt like we started this group. You just came in later. And then you want to sue us? I mean, I would feel the same way too. This is the Salt and Pepper movie. I mean, I understand Spenda is Spenderella is part of you know the group, but you want to sue us? Well, boo boo, you ain't gonna be part of my movie, honey. This is all you gonna get. What do you all feel about the movie? Like I said, I really didn't care for it. Like, let me give you some examples of some classics, classics biopics. The Temptations. Hello. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Who come? Otis, who coming to see you? Hello, Selena. What, what, what uh, 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 what'd she say? Selena wasn't Spanish. You all get the joke, right? Some of you all get it. Uh, Selena. Bubble, bop, 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 bubble, bop, bop, bop. Okay, Selena movie. The Jackson Fives movie. Hello. The American Dream. The Michelle A movie. Or in Lifetime, baby, that was a good movie. That was a classic. In my, the Michelle, if you ain't seen the Michelle A movie, the one who Dr. Dre, you know, Am, and and Am, that was a classic. I, I, that was a classic. And hello, what's love got to do with it? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Those are classics. Now, some good biopics were uh, the Fantasia movie or Lifetime. I just couldn't take too much of Fantasia voice. Then I, 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 I don't even hear that crap. Uh, the Notorious movie was good. The New Edition story on BET was good. Maybe if the Salt and Pepper would have let uh, BET do it. I, I I don't know. Eight Miles with Eminem was good. The TLC movie on VH1 was good. See, those were good. And I didn't see the Compton movie with Dr. Dre and all of them. You know, the, I, got, I still got to watch the Compton movie. And I didn't see Ray. Was Ray a good movie? I have not seen Ray with Jamie Foxx. Was that a good... Oh, I'm always wasting my time. I should watch that tonight. Let me know if Ray was a good movie. But a lot of you all said that was a good movie. So, the Salt and Pepper movie, uh, if you ain't watch it, baby, I mean, if you ain't got nothing to do, I mean, you know, hey. But it, it was all right. It, it wasn't in the classics. It wasn't a good movie. But it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. But hey, what did you all think about the movie? Speaking of movies, this weekend we have another biopic. <clears throat> the Wendy Williams movie is coming this uh, weekend. And I have me a whole nice little weekend planned. Um, But I will say, I wish that they would stop showing so many clips. We done seen the clip when she done fell out in the Statue of Liberty outfit. We done seen the clip where she came out and threw the papers at Kevin. We done seen the clip. Where I'm like, damn, can you save something for the movie? We gonna watch it. Relax. We are going to watch it. They keep showing all. I mean, what are we gonna have for the movie? Showing every, the whole, just show the movie already. Are you all watching the Wendy Williams movie? Charlemagne, uh, uh, said something to the effect that it's like not really showing Kevin. I, I like is really not showing Kevin as the type of man he truly is. Um, I have to say, I believe Kevin. Was the type of man. I don't feel like talking about that. Um, we are going to watch it this weekend. Wendy's also looking for a man, you guys. She has some dating show. On her show. Um, 
Does that seem like a little desperate to you guys? When he says she don't care if it seems that, does this seem like a little desperate? For, you know, that that she's looking for a man. That's one of my ideas when I move back to New York. I have an idea I want to do, but I'm waiting. Yeah, like I want to do something in my head. I have. I always come up with all these little crazy ideas. This one I actually want to do. Um, all right, moving on. The Wendy Williams movie is this weekend. Uh, apparently, Kevin is like apparent to be like a sweetheart. Armor at night for Wendy and Charlamagne's not green. He's really, you know, we're going to see how this movie turns out. So, Wendy's this weekend. All right. Oh, I know what to talk about. This Harlem dude. Uh, I'm a mess right now. Where are my notes? Jimmy Smacks. Oh, I wanted to get to the Zodiacs too. It's a Zodiac thing I want to get to. Who's on my Instagram? Are you following me on Instagram, Bimbo Winehouse? So listen, there's this guy. His name is Jimmy Smacks. You can go to Twitter and follow him or find him on Twitter. But he's like a, a, a porn star and he puts out all these videos. And his latest video is with a transgender. And, um... He's given her top and, you know, happy ending all over his mouth, whatever. And uh, here we go with everyone, everybody having something to say about this situation. I just want to give my quick two cents because I really don't have nothing to say. I really don't care. This doesn't shock me no more. Because I know what these men's be up to. But my thing is... <sighs> like... Oh, my head is hurting. I need a drink quick. I need something. First of all, you don't owe Jimmy Smacks. You don't owe nobody an explanation. Let them folks talk. That's all they're going to do. That's all they've been doing from the beginning of the time about who's gay, who's messing with what. Let, you don't owe nobody an explanation about who and what you do. Let them talk, honey, okay? Sit back and collect your coins. That's first of all. I respect any man who lives in his truth. Who, I, I, I respect any man who don't give a damn about what the next dude got to say. I don't care. I, I love dudes who live in their truth. Um, let these, let them folks talk, you know, let the women, let the men, that's all they do is talk to who's gay, who's not, who's, who, who cares, ignore these people, ignore them, they don't matter, they shouldn't matter to you, you don't have an explanation to nobody, they thought you were straight, oh well, boo hoo, I'm not, I like men too, and if you're gonna be my friend, you're gonna be my friend, if you're not, I don't give a damn. Stay on, stay on your block with your rest of your homies who's all probably doing the same old crap. They they all doing the same old crap. And they probably doing it with each other. So so I, I like dudes like this who who step out and live in their truth. It's nothing like living in your truth. And not for nothing. I seen a video of him, I put it on my Instagram, him talking. Baby, it was all in the voice. I said, I mean you couldn't tell. I don't have no problem with that. L G B T Q T whatever the, whatever you all call us community. First, th th see that's my issue. When these dudes make these them type of videos, I don't have an issue with the L G B T community. Baby, you are the L G B T T community. Just because you're messing with someone who has breasts and a wig on and all the uh, features of a woman, if you are messing with any dang with a penis attached to it, you're gay. I don't care. No, we can argue. Let's fight. If you are messing with anything with a penis attached to it, we can fight. I know a lot of these transgenders like to tell these men they're not gay because, oh, I, I'm a woman. I, I, you have a penis. You're a man. I mean, you're a woman, but you still... So, so, so... These men, you just don't like dog and masculine men. You like more the feminine type, the, the girly types. I get that, but you're still gay. So don't sit up here and say, I don't have a problem with the LGBT community. Baby, you are the LGBT. You are part of it. Okay? Just let these people talk. 
Shout out to the uh, transgender who was in the video. Get your coins. Let these folks talk. Because, baby, I know what these men been up. It, this is not shocking. This is, this to me, this is all old and tired at this point. It's so many men who does the same things. They're just so shocked that a man finally came out in a minute of who he is. Who I mean, you ain't got to tell nobody what you do. You ain't got to tell, you ain't got a minute to no goddamn body. But for a man to be on camera doing this and not, and the dude from Harlem and, 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 and appear to be all this yo yo that all you gays go crazy for, I respect him. Jimmy Smacks, whoever you are, I get up and drag once in a blue, okay? So I didn't see the video, I just saw the ending when you had the stuff around your mouth. But if you want to do some things to the Dante, hello, I'll be back in New York real soon. But as far as this whole, I'm, I'm, it's just so old and boring and tired to me at this point. This is all interesting to all you folks who ain't, not all of you, the, the folks who ain't got nothing about that else to talk about, y'all, you see the sun on here. And all, look at all these dudes trying to go find a video because you liked it. You liked every moment of it. It's it's just boring to me at this point. So what? Who ain't mess? Who so what? Why does it bother you what the next person is doing in their bed? I'm seeing I'm seeing dudes on Twitter. Yo son, look at this. Yo son, nah, 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 nah. you're looking. It turned you on. You probably went home and been playing with yourself to it. Now you want to do it because you're doing the same. I'm telling you all these dudes out here. They don't care. They they and then. They just keep it all hidden. They keep it hidden and hiding. And yo, I gotta keep my my my, my uh, you know my uh, my, my my you know my whole situation up for the hood, yo. I can't be down and eh? this is why I don't associate with those people. I never will. I leave me alone. Do what you gotta do. Get your coins and mind your business. Let them folks talk, honey. They they don't matter. Let them talk. Let them talk, baby. You talk about my life. Enjoy and show your friends. I don't judge nobody. The old, this is how I know people mature. The old bimbo would have been all over this. The new one, I don't give a damn. I seen the video, typical video, somebody getting had. Woo, woo, woo. The Jimmy Smacks video that made me laugh was the one with him and the little midget. Did you see him with the midget, the female, the little tiny midget? And, and, she, and he picked her up like a baby. <laughs> That's the way that made me gag. The one of him... Doing what he's doing, that it doesn't shock me, baby. They do it to me all the time when I'm. It, it doesn't. It 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 doesn't shock me. It may be shocking to you all, but this is what these men do, honey. I'm just happy that someone was on camera showing it. This is what I do. Do your thing, baby. Do your thing and keep doing it. Let them talk. Let them talk. They want to keep them on that block in 125th Street. Let them talk. I will walk right past them. People who gonna rock with you gonna rock. The rest of them, let them talk. Like the friends who, who couldn't hang out with me because I was in drag. If you could be my friend outside of drag, you could be my friend in drag. You can't? Oh, well. Have a good life. That's it. Anyway, you all listen. I got to go. I got to go, honey. I wanted to get to the story about the pastor. Because you know them pastors be up to some things. But I'm going to save that story for the next show. Yes, yeah, This is a juicy one. The pastor and his wife. The wife. Yes, you were. See, I'm telling you all, the women don't. There's some women who don't mind these type of men. Oh, well, you buy it is what it is. Again, I don't understand how you females get so mad at these men for being by, by and you buy too. How, how you getting mad? A man messing with another man, but you was messing with another female last night. You you could be gay, but the man can't. This is why I don't mess with people, man. This is why I stay to myself. I ain't got time for these people in this world. Stereotypical stereotypes. Oh, I can be gay, but my man can't. Girl, bye. Listen, you all. I got to go, honey. I got to go. I hope you all enjoy the show. Remember, we got the Wendy Williams movie this weekend. Um, and leave your comments. I'll probably make a video about it, like Monday or something. A little quick video, of my review on it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, look in the box, all the information, if you want to send a donation, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, whatever, just look below and, you know, whatever, the GoFundMe is still below, thank you to my person who sent something on my GoFundMe, mm, smooches and smooches and smooches, if you would like to donate something to the GoFund, the links are below, alright, you will, I'll see you all, I'm about to go make my baked potato with my broccoli and my little tiny piece of, uh, meat, 
But let me know what you think about this whole Jimmy Smack situation. Okay, just, just I, like, I don't care. I don't care. Do you, boo. Let folks talk, honey. Let them talk. Anyway, you all. I'll see you all later. Bye. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. Uh, oh, shit. Yes, you better, you better dip in, ho. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, yo, uh. I will, I wanna dance floor. I don't give a fuck, I'ma take that dick and take it out my butt. I got a juicy ass and a big ass cock. I know this weight, I just won't stop. I'm not covering, but I get super head. I'ma choke on that dick until I'm dead. I'm a nasty hoe, I'm a freak bitch. Come on, people, y'all watching that addiction shit. Oh, yeah, zip it, zip it low.